Hey everyone, I'm here today with an empties video. I recently uploaded an empties video. That was filmed back in May. We are now, what day are you? October 10th. So I have a lot of empties that were used from May till October. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Hope you enjoy this video and decide to stay a while. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's get right into the empties. joking when I say I have so much. I have, this is full. Oh my gosh. This Lululemon bag is full. I have so much stuff. So let's get into it. And my little trash bag here so I can throw it all away. It's just been accumulating and it needs to go. So there's no particular order. I'm just going to share with you what I've used up, let you know if I'd repurchase it. And you know the drill. You guys have been with me long enough. So we'll start with these ones. They're what I have on the static nails those pretty these ones are in sheer fixation i thought they were kind of fun and like halloweeny you know a little black black and white tips so those are fun so i finished those up i have a lot of nails so let's get i'll grab all the ones that i can see right here because there's a lot i have these ones from walmart now these are all the ones that don't fit my fingers anymore so that's why there's still nails in there so these ones are from walmart Loved those. I already have repurchased them. I've already repurchased these pink ones too. There are these Hello Kitty Glamnetic ones. And like some of them have like little bows. There you go. You can see it there. Little bows on them. Very cute. I've already repurchased those. These Glamnetic ones are really pretty too. This pink. Gosh, I got the new iPhone. The quality on this camera is phenomenal. Um, these are the Sway White Almond. Love these ones. I love the static nails. These ones were gorgeous. These ones were the fetish ones. Super pretty, very nice and nude. All right, these are super fun. These are called Hot Girl Summer from Static Nails. Then Cloud9, what were these ones? I can't remember. It's not in there. And then these Claire's ones, what were you? Oh, they were just like, kind of like retro 70s pink ones. There's actually some really cute nails. They're not the best quality, but they're very inexpensive. Pushed up this uh, Natrium Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. Now this was supposed to like pump out, but the pump was broken. So I feel like the texture of it kind of changes a little bit when you pump it out. Uh, but my pump was broken, but I liked it. I would definitely repurchase this. I got it at Target. This has been great at helping my hair grow. The Sugar Bear Hair Gummies. I've repurchased those. The Sugar Bear Sleep Vitamins. I have been taking these for a long time. I've had insomnia since I got pregnant with Lincoln. I'm now nine months postpartum. I still have, po I still have insomnia. These aren't working for me, for me anymore, but I really did like them. They taste good, but they're not really working for me. So now I'm back to Unisom. So that's fine. I don't want to get on like heavy duty sleep medicine. So I'm just taking half of a Unisom and hopefully eventually it'll go back to normal. Uh, the Derma E hydrating cleanser. This is must have gooped all over. This was okay. I'm not super particular on cleansers. Honestly, I barely even use a cleanser. I use like a cleansing oil and then I go in with my toner. I should double cleanse. I just don't. I never have and my skin has been fine. So I'm just kind of like banking that it continues to stay that way. So I'm not super per particular on cleansers. It's a 10. I've been using this for 12 plus years. Love it. Continue to repurchase it. Dry shampoo. Uh, I love this. I have a lot of them. I'll link down below where I find them. This one is the burb or the rose scent, which I really like. Living proof dry shampoo, another one of my favorites. I've continued to repurchase that many times. The Sosu Dripping Gold. I don't like this. I don't know if it's gotten expired. All of these that are supposed to be super dark, they go on dark, and then once I rinse them, they're not dark anymore. So I'm kind of just gonna stick with my tried and true, which you guys will see in a little bit. But this one was. It just didn't do anything. When I washed it off, I didn't look any darker and I sleep in it. So I put it on at night, wake up the next morning, rinse it off. One, I don't like that I have to rinse off a color guard because my normal one, I don't have to, but two, it just like didn't make me that dark. So would not repurchase that. The watermelon PHA BHA pore tightening toner. I love this. I already have a backup. It gives your skin a beautiful, beautiful glow. The Summer Fridays Dream Oasis Deep Hydration Serum. I am obsessed with the Summer Fridays brand yet to find a product I don't like from them. I would definitely repurchase it. Makes my skin feel hydrated, plump, juicy. Yes. 
Another thing I attribute all my regrowth to is the Divi oil. I had so much postpartum hair loss. I think I've tamed down most of my flyaways. I also, I mean, I have extensions, but I also put in a clip in, but like my regrowth is insane. So I attribute a lot of it to this Divi oil and the Sugar Bear Hair Gummies. Finished up this Kosas Comfy Cloud Set Powder. It's really not much left. This was okay, not my favorite powder. Probably would not repurchase it. It was just like, meh. This NARS foundation, I really finished up. I mean, it's looking rough. This one's amazing. I have it in the shade Vanitu. It's their natural radiant longwear foundation. I would definitely repurchase that. I have two Kirkland wipes. You guys know I love that. This was really good. This um, invisible primer from um, Charlotte Tilbury. It is their SPF 50 primer. I love this. It played well with my makeup. It was nice. I love that it's SPF 50. Definitely would repurchase that. You guys have seen me use up many of these. The All Nighter Primer. Probably my Holy Grail face primer. It's phenomenal. This is a Fenty Brow Wax. It won't roll up anymore, but it came in a thing like this and I just kind of zhuzhed it in my brows and then brushed them up. It's not the greatest holding product, but it was kind of nice if you like the soap brows, but it's not quite as good as soap. So it's okay, but I would not, I would not repurchase it. Like I liked it, but I'm not gonna go run out and grab it. The Clinique High Impact Mascara, I love this mascara. It's got a natural bristle wand. I've gone through multiple of these. I finished up some nail glue. This is the static nail glue. I love this. I continue to repurchase it. This is my favorite liquid liner, the Too Faced. I've repurchased that many times. It's a brush tip and it's very, very fine like flick. I love it. All right, I finished up this Arches and Halo. I really like this. This is their brow pen. It just is starting to get a little bit, um, this was from something else. It's starting to get a little bit dull. So I do like those. I've repurchased those many times. I finished this little hydrating primer from Makeup Forever. It's okay. Wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase it. I, oh God, oh God. I finished up this, I really like this Buxom Powerline in Hush Hush Henna. It's like gone. It's a really pretty color. I think I have a little bit left. Really loved this. I would definitely repurchase that liner. And I finished the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, which I'm gonna keep this little container because I'm gonna put some in it to take when we leave for Disney. So yes, I would definitely repurchase that. I mean, I have the full size. And then last thing in here is a lip liner. This is, I think it's Kala, Kala by Natasha Denona. Yes, love it, already repurchased it. Moving to the big old bag here. More wipes, Kirkland wipes, love those. More Sugar Bear Hair Gummies. Clearly loved that. Okay, this is my go-to tanner. We have one Bondi Sands, two Bondi Sands, three Bondi Sands. Any more? Okay, we for sure have three. Three Bondi Sands. That's my favorite tanner. It's the liquid gold, goes on clear. Your skin looks glowy, wears off amazing. We'll continue to repurchase. A third Sugar Bear hair. So I've been taking those for three months already. I have two Black Nirvana dry shampoos. You guys know I'm a fan, I love it. I have this deep cleansing oil from DHC. This one is a pretty good cleansing oil. I can't remember where I got this, but I do like it. I already have a backup. We have some more nails. These ones are really pretty. Meet me at sunrise. And they were like pinky marbly at the end. I liked those a lot. This dry shampoo, I did not like. It didn't do anything for my hair, so I would not repurchase that. The Bondi Boost, I really liked this shampoo. This also was something I'm using for having my hair grow back. The Ashley Graham Saint Tropez, this is another one. I finished it up, but again, I didn't feel like it made me that dark, so I would not repurchase it. Another all-nighter primer, you guys know, I have two of them in here. I've used two since May. Just told you, I really like that stuff. These were Hello Kitty nails. They're really cute. They were like green. From Glamnetic, I got those at Ulta. I really liked those. This is the Tan Lux Gradual Tanner and Radiance. It's a gradual tanner. I do like that. I would definitely repurchase it. Sam uses it and she loved it, so that's why I bought it. We have two more foundations. You guys, three foundations I finished. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better. I love this. I've already repurchased it. Makeup Forever. 
This one is in 2N26. I think the color is sand. I have it in two other shades, but I need to repurchase this shade. I just finished that this morning, and I love that. I finished this big Cabana Girl from Philosophy. It was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. My mother-in-law gave it to me because she didn't like it, so I just used it, and it was fine. The Derma E Ferulic Acid Resurfacing Pads. I love these. I use them in the evening. They're already pre-soaked pads. It just made my skin feel really glowy. I also like that they're textured, so it really felt like it was cleaning out my skin. Do you guys remember this? This used to be all the rage, the macadamia natural oil. Oh, I think I have the new iPhone, so I didn't swap the thing. So some of the, it, it might be backwards. I'm really sorry if all this is backwards. Um, this deep mask, love it. I've used it for years. Nioxin, this is another thing that I use for hair growth. I used it when I was postpartum with Liv. Definitely repurchase it. Two more Kirkland wipes. Living, another Living Proof Dry Shampoo. Ugh, my favorite spray of all time. I have two travel size and I'm already a quarter of a way through another full size. The Charlotte Tilbury, it's my holy grail. Never will be without it. Um, you guys saw this in a haul recently, the Ole Henriksen. I did really like this. I loved how like easy it rubbed into my skin. It doesn't have much of a scent, but I did really like that moisturizer. The Papaya Sorbet Cleansing Balm. This was okay. It's not my favorite cleansing balm. They did send this in PR. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase that one with my own money, but there are other products from Glow Recipe, like this baby, that I would definitely repurchase. This is the nice and my dew drops. I've gone through multiple. I love them, and I would repurchase. Same with the Vitamin C Glow Recipe Guava. Another fantastic product. Oh, we have a fourth Bondi Sands. This is a repurchase. I will repurchase it for a third time. This is the second one I've gone through, the Summer Fridays Toner. I love how glowy my skin looks. It's ugh, so good. This 5% Niacinamide Body Serum from Paula's Choice. This one was actually pretty good. I loved how easy it rubbed into my body and my skin looked amazingly glowy after using it. Summer Fridays Cloud Dew. Doesn't really have, oh, doesn't have a scent. It's like a gel moisturizer. I really liked this. I would also repurchase that. I bought that with my own money. It's it's great. The Canyon Old Spice. Did I like the scent of this? Oh yeah, I like that. It's very fresh scented. I would repurchase that. NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in Medium. I've gone through three or four of those. I would definitely repurchase. The Maybelline 4-in-1 Protector. I didn't like this for my face, but I like to use it on my chest. So I mix the shade Fair Light and Medium on my chest and it's phenomenal. Okay. I have two herbivore products, Moon Fruit and Nova. Nova is a vitamin C. I really liked that. And Moon Fruit is um, a retinol alternative serum. Both are really great. I enjoyed them both. I definitely purchased both of them. I purchased this because I was um, nursing and I couldn't use regular retinol. And so it's a retinol alternative. And I did really like them. I purchased them back when the Sephora sale was, I don't know, whenever the last Sephora sale was. And I enjoyed it. This vegan collagen face serum from Truly. I did like this. I don't think I'd repurchase it. They make a lot of body products, but I don't know. It was just okay. Like I wasn't blown away by it, but it wasn't bad. Microdermabrasion from Dr. Brandt. I liked this, but I prefer the Derma E over that. So I'd probably repurchase the Derma E one instead. This was an old Bath and Body Works bubble bath shower gel. It was nice. I'd probably repurchase it. Patrick Ta eyebrow pencil. I loved that. I would repurchase this Glam Glow lotion. I've had these forever. Um, I used this on my chest. This one is in Nude Glow. Ugh, the smell of their products. I don't even know if they make this anymore. It's so old, um, but I do like it. I liked it as a body moisturizer. Big Papa. I did not like that from Wet Wild. Did nothing for my lashes. The Glowy Makeup Serum from Laneige. This was okay. I didn't like it enough to want to repurchase it. It didn't wow me, you know what I mean? The Ole Henriksen, I loved this moisturizer, the Strength Trainer. Oh, it was so nice. I was influenced by everybody on TikTok and YouTube to buy it, and I really did like it, and I would definitely repurchase it. All right, last, we're on the last few things. Charlotte Tilbury Eye Cream, loved this, would definitely repurchase it. It was very like soothing, depuffing. It has this nice little metal ball on the end. Definitely liked that. This is another um, little thing from Arches and Halo. It's just their little brow flicker pen. And then this was also in one of my hauls. 
it's by Wishful and it came with a refill, which is really nice. Again, has that little tip on it and it's very like soothing and hydrating under the eyes. And that's it, you guys. We did it. We went through all those empties so fast. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll link all the products I mentioned down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next one.